This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Gracious God, thank you for today. Please help us to make it a good day. Please help us to be kind and thoughtful wherever this day may take us. Thank you for loving us so much. Help us love others as you love us. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they come for me. You pray a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A reading from First Peter. Always be ready to make your defense to anyone who demands from you an accounting for the hope that is in you. Here ends the reading. Good morning. Today I want to talk to you all about hope. I just read that we are to always be ready to talk about the hope that is within us. The Bible does not say that we are to always be ready to talk about the struggles of our community or current events which is good for me because I'm losing the words to describe all that has happened over the past year, or even the past two months or the past two weeks. Perhaps you have also felt this past year slide into that which is undescribable or inscrutable. And so instead, let's speak of the hope that is within us during Lent. Lent is a season of waiting with expectation for Easter Easter is a celebration of resurrection and life. We often focus on the discipline of Lent, of giving something up or taking something on in order to be closer to God. And I usually hear that people in my life have given up caffeine or started waking up early to read the Bible. I would imagine that many of you hear about those disciplines as well. And though I've still heard a few folks beginning Lent like that, it seems that many of us feel that we are actually on day 370 of last year's Lent, having given up and taken on more than enough. It does not seem like the right time to focus upon discipline. But assuming we still want to encounter this time before Easter as a time set apart with a focus, perhaps it is time to adjust that focus. The disciples did not know what to expect at Easter some 2,000 years ago, but we do. We know that we are waiting to celebrate the story of Jesus rising to new life. We know that the Easter story is full of change and reversed expectations. We know that we are waiting to hear that story of new life in the church here in Big Chapel. But as we await our Easter celebration, Are we ready to share the hope that is within us? Well, personally, I'm still working on being always ready to share the hope that is within me. But with some time to prepare and think, yes, of course, I have lots of hopes. I have specific hopes that the announced vaccinations for school employees will help many in our community to feel safer and that our school will continue to be a place where we can all ask for help whether we need a place to take a shower or help navigating virtual learning. But more than that, I have the great hope that when we all try our best 
to love God and to love our neighbors, it is possible to change our world for the better. This morning, you'll hear the sixth grade choir sing day by day. And I hope that as you listen, you'll think of ways that you can speak up about the hope that is within you day by day. I know it may be a hard thing to ask right now of you or of me, of anyone. And so I want to share a piece of a poem that helps me to think about hope. The Reverend Polly Murray, the first African-American woman to be ordained a priest in the Episcopal Church, wrote this poem. Before becoming a priest, she was a civil rights worker and a lawyer. She did not have an easy life in many ways, and yet her hope for a better world led her to action that resulted in a list of accomplishments too many to speak of right now. From de desegregating Washington, D.C. restaurants to legal work against gender discrimination. She wrote in 1970, Hope is a song in a weary throat. Give me a song of hope and a world where I can sing it. Hope is a song in a weary throat. May we all have songs of hope in this last month of winter, though our throats be often weary. And may we sing them in this world day by day. Amen. who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We pray for God's people throughout the world. We pray for our bishops, Michael and Brian, and for our school chaplains, Annie and Haley. We give thanks for our school communities. We pray for our world. We pray for justice, peace, and safety. We pray for our pets and for all animals. We give thanks for all the blessings of this life. We pray for all who work in our hospitals and the healthcare professionals in our community, especially Nurse Anna. We pray for those who need God's help, the poor, the sick, the hungry, the homeless, and all who are treated unfairly. We pray especially for Melanie, Zachary, Bo, Marty, and family the Murphy family, and all those who are still affected by the winter storms. We pray for all who are dealing with COVID-19 and for all who must quarantine. We give thanks for all the blessings of this life. We give thanks for all of our faculty. In our school cycle of prayer, we give thanks for our upper school world languages department. We pray for those who have died. We remember Fan Black. Almighty and everlasting God, you love everything you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new hearts in this Lenten season. In your holy name we pray, 
Amen. And now if you are celebrating a birthday, this is a special prayer for you. Let us pray. Watch over your children, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them whenever they are sad or lonely or afraid. Raise them up if they fall. And in their hearts, may your peace, which passes all understanding, abide all the many days of their life. In your most holy name we pray. Amen. Now let us pray. Dear God, please bless our open eyes that see the morning sun. And bless our feet throughout this day, wherever they walk or run. Bless our hands and find for them the kindest things to do. God, bless our hearts and all our thoughts and keep them true. Bless us, dear God, in all our play and keep us safe from harm. And bless these little lives of ours that rest within your arms. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.